calling for the removal of the John C. Calhoun statue through art activism. That's what one local art center did in partnership with an out-of-state social justice group tonight. News News' Deanne Roberts attended the program and shares the different perspectives that were on display tonight during this event. Why is he upset? Yeah. Standing 80 feet tall, the John C. Calhoun statue is in the center of downtown Charleston and at the center of controversy. Until you see the way that it stands against the skyline, until you see the way it casts a shadow over the city, and I think it really sort of demonstrates in a, in a sort of writ large way the tension that exists in this city. Kelly um, Holloway, the director of the Make It Right Project, going around the country calling for the removal of what some believe to be Confederate, racist, or white supremacist statues. Partnering with the Redux Contemporary Art Center, various performers used art activism calling for the removal of the Calhoun statue. Artists really open up a space that allows for change to sort of find its way in. I just feel like it, it separates us, it stands for racism and it stands for the inferiority of minorities and I just feel like that's not what we should stand for, especially not here. Some making it known they don't want the statue down. I'm just tired of people tearing monuments down, they, it's history, good or bad, leave them alone, let people learn from them. Because if we tear them down, history is bound to repeat itself. Others saying they don't want to be reminded of the history they believe Calhoun represents. Black stories and black history needs to be told and told accurately, and which includes telling the truth about Calhoun and what his white supremacist values mean to us today. And differing opinions about a controversial statue that many may never see eye to eye on. In 2017, Charleston's Mayor John Tecklenburg proposed adding a plaque to the Calhoun statue, explaining Calhoun's political contributions. The city's history commission approved the language for that plaque, but the plaque is in limbo since Charleston City Council cannot agree on adding it to the statue. The Make It Right Project says they will continue advocating for the removal moving forward. I'm reporting in studio, Deanne Roberts, Count on Two.